personalized mail merge. Uh, go down and select contacts and when you're in the contacts view you can grab people uh, by clicking individually with holding down control so if I hold down control and click I can grab people that are not in a row if I use the shift command I can click the first one hold down shift click the last one and then you have those folks selected step one is uh, selecting the people step two is to click the mail merge button at the top it's in the home tab if your home tab doesn't happen to be forward right now so mail merge and just pay attention to this first selection right here all contacts in current view versus only selected contacts sometimes when I'm selecting folks by category it does default the radial choice to the first one here all contacts in the current view so be, be sensitive to that and then go down to the bottom to the last little selection which is merge to and pick email that will show your subject line so now I can type in my subject line and click OK. This will launch Microsoft Word which is really cool because then now you have all the power of Microsoft Word to create your email message. Start out with something like dear or hi and then after that uh, put a merge field in there like first name and that will rotate through the context. If I put a comma and tap enter this is where you're going to type your body text or your message and then if you want your signature I don't know why but throughout the years it's never placed your signature here automatically so I just usually go back to Outlook start a new message and then select uh, one of my signatures so I'll grab this signature right here hit copy or control C go back to the Word document and hit paste or control V and there's that nasty double spacing if you want it to be single space just highlight all that text go back to home here and select no spacing if you'd like no spacing to be your default or your new normal you can program your new normal by right clicking on normal and hitting update normal to match the selection therefore if you create any select any font or spacing or bold or underline anything like that that you can make it the new normal by creating that and right clicking right clicking normal and hitting update normal to match the selection so you have your message done um, head back to the mailings tab where we inserted the merge field and this is a optional step but I like to do it uh, you hit preview results and you can see your contact records data inside that merge field and you can bounce through a couple of the contacts just to I don't know, give, boost your confidence in that it's going to work properly then click finish and merge send email messages and click OK and those messages will go out one message per person and uh, there'll be an item in your out, outbox and uh, or eventually in your sent items one message per person which really helps you get past a lot of the junk filters out there because you don't have a bunch of people inside the the two and the or the uh, blind CC or the CC which tends to cause you to get caught in junk filters in corporate America so if I click here if I click OK boom each message will go out individually to each person and they will end up in your sent items. Thanks for watching Mark Porter Live. Please thumbs up the video if you like it or dislike it if you don't. Comments and feedback are welcome. And subscribe to see new tips as they're published. Maybe even support our efforts by changing your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code below. It's no cost to you, but it really helps us out a lot. Thank you.